If your skin is prone to hyperpigmentation, remember that any irritation or inflammation is an invitation for hyperpigmentation. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Razia. Welcome to my channel. Please do subscribe if you haven't already and you can also check me out on Instagram and TikTok for more content. Dealing with hyperpigmentation really is no fun at all. Whether that's in the form of dark spots, dark patches, melasma, these are all different ways that hyperpigmentation can appear in your skin and it can be really, really difficult to get rid of it. The first thing you want to make sure is that you don't cause any further irritation or inflammation to your skin. Whether that's picking at acne, for example, or picking at different areas of your face or using products that are too harsh for your skin. These are things you want to make sure you do so you don't aggravate your hyperpigmentation further and so that you don't cause any new hyperpigmentation from occurring on the skin. The second thing you want to make sure, and you knew this one was coming, is you need to make sure you're wearing sunscreen every single day. Sunscreen protects your skin from UV damage, and UV is the number one cause of damage in the skin. If you want a more sciencey explanation into the formation of melanin in the skin, it gets really complicated. So I would highly recommend you check out Dr. Alexis Stevens. She makes amazing videos. She's a board certified dermatologist and makes amazing videos on hyperpigmentation and explains the science behind the formation of this melanin production. She also explains how the different ingredients work under the skin to treat this hyperpigmentation. I'm just going to be giving you a very surface explanation, obviously, because I don't have that knowledge and hopefully you still can get some benefit from this video. When it comes to using actives on the skin, this is definitely something you can do. You just want to make sure you don't overdo it. There was a myth going around, I hope it's been dispelled by now, that people of color can't use certain ingredients like glycolic acid, for example, because this is the sole cause of hyperpigmentation in the skin or something like that. This is completely ridiculous. You can use, you can use AHAs and BHAs. You just want to make sure you don't overdo it. So if you're exfoliating every single day, for example, that's an example of overdoing it. One to two times is more than enough. And you just want to make sure you're not using too high of a concentration. You know your skin best. If you're using a product and it's irritating you or you can feel a bit of a burning sensation, then that's probably a sign that it's a bit too strong for you. So go for a more gentle option. If glycolic acid is too strong for you, you've got mandelic acid or lactic acid that are both really great gentle options and you still get the exfoliating benefits you need. Using a gentle cleanser is another great way that you can make sure you're not irritating your skin too much and using a really nice nourishing moisturizer so that your skin is getting the moisture that it needs and it's getting locked in there. Now let's talk about the different ingredients and products you can use to treat this hyperpigmentation and help it fade over time. One thing I have learned from a lot of experts and dermatologists online is that using one product or one ingredient generally isn't enough because there are so many different ways that melanin overproduction can occur. So using a combination of ingredients is the best way to fade this hyperpigmentation and to prevent this melanin production from occurring in the first place. The first ingredient you want to look out for and my personal favorite at the moment is azelaic acid. Azelaic acid is a very gentle exfoliant and has more than one benefit. It's a gentle exfoliant, has some antimicrobial properties, so it helps to prevent acne in the first place. And preventing acne is a great way that you can prevent hyperpigmentation. If there's no acne, then there's no post acne dark spot. <laughs> it prevents acne and it also has skin brightening properties, so it's a good two-in-one product. Because it is nice and gentle, you can also use this one every day and it's compatible with a lot of different ingredients as well. I've been using the As Clear 20% Azelaic Acid treatment and this one has been amazing. If you follow me on Instagram, you might've seen that I put up a little review post a couple of weeks ago, basically just singing all the praises for this product. A couple of other azelaic acid options are from The Ordinary, that's their 10% suspension, and also Paula's Choice. Previously, you could get the Paula's Choice 10% in Australia, but they've recently stopped selling it on the Australian Paula's Choice website, so maybe you can still get that one from Colt Beauty. I will have all these products linked below and they will be affiliate links that just help to support me and my channel. So if you do use them, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. The next ingredient that can really help with brightening your hyperpigmentation is alpha arbutin. Alpha arbutin is a derivative of hydroquinone. Hydroquinone is the gold standard of ingredients that can help to fight hyperpigmentation, but it does come with its drawbacks and it's also not readily available here in Australia at least. So Alpha Arbutin is a great product to use instead. I've been using the Inkilis Alpha Arbutin and that one recently finished, so I do need a repurchase. The Ordinary also have a great Alpha Arbutin product as well. And as I mentioned before, using a combination of ingredients is a way that you can ensure you get the best results when it comes to fading your dark spots. So using alpha arbutin in the morning and azelaic acid at night is a great way that you can do this. 
You can use them both in the same routine as well because they are both gentle, but if you do want to split it between two routines, that's a great way to do it. Some in the morning, some in the evening. Next up is an ingredient that's actually quite new to me and I've only heard of it quite recently and that's trinexamic acid. Trinexamic acid actually disrupts a couple of the pathways that lead to melanin production, so it stops the hyperpigmentation from forming, which is great. A couple of products that I'm planning on trying for myself are the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum and also the Inculus Tranexamic Acid Night Treatment. So I haven't tried these, so I can't really give you my feedback on them, but they do come very highly regarded. I'm sure you won't be disappointed if you do decide to use these products. And I actually am going to be purchasing them myself soon and I will have my thoughts on them soon for you as well. Trinexamic acid is also quite gentle and can be used daily. Another thing to note when it comes to using these different ingredients to fade your dark spots is that consistency is key. You are not going to get results overnight. I wish this is how it was but unfortunately that's just not how skincare works. Consistency is key so it's best to make sure you do use these products for weeks if not months to see the best results. Consistency is your best friend when it comes to skincare. Next we have vitamin C. I've talked about vitamin C and I'm sure you've heard of it by now if you follow any sort of skincare content creator at all. Literally everyone talks about vitamin C nonstop. That's because it's a really powerful antioxidant that really keeps your skin nice and healthy. Vitamin C works to prevent free radical damage in the skin. Free radicals enter the skin through UV exposure and these lead to inflammation and irritation in the skin. So using vitamin C really helps to block this free radical damage from occurring and it's a great ingredient to use in combination with your sunscreen in the morning. So using vitamin C followed by a sunscreen is a great way you can ensure that you're protecting your skin every single day. Paula's Choice have a great vitamin C serum and also the Ordinary Ascorbic Acid 8% Alpha Arbutin 2% is another great one that combines two of the ingredients that I've mentioned today. And lastly, we have an old favorite, niacinamide. Niacinamide has so many skin benefits. You've heard me raving on about it before. And it also has skin brightening properties and helps to fade hyperpigmentation. And it's very gentle, it can be used daily and is another great one that you can use combined with your other ingredients to make sure you're getting the most out of your skincare routine. So my favorites for dealing with hyperpigmentation are niacinamide, azelaic acid and alpha arbutin. I would use alpha arbutin and niacinamide in the morning routine and I would use my azelaic acid and niacinamide again at night. And this combination of different hyperpigmentation fighting products really does make a difference for me. If I do have a dark spot when I'm using these products, it does go away within a couple of weeks, which is amazing. Previously, it would take over a month to get rid of a dark spot, which is really, really frustrating as you can imagine. If you do use any of these product recommendations, I really hope they help you out as well. Let me know if there are any products that I didn't mention or any ingredients I didn't mention that you use that really help your hyperpigmentation, because I'd love to know. These dark spots really are the worst thing ever. I don't, they're, they're not fun to have. It is partly my fault because I have a skin picking problem and if I do have a pimple, it's very hard for me to leave it alone. I know if I did leave it alone that I wouldn't have to deal with the dark spot afterwards, but for some reason, I just, I can't do it. I can't help myself. So that's something definitely for me to work on. Please do leave me a like and a comment and please do subscribe if you haven't already. And don't go anywhere. Check out some of the other videos I have on my channel. I've got some good ones on here and I'll see you in the next one.